Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Galaxy Z Fold phones have been out for over five years at this point. We're working on our sixth generation and there's a lot of data that has come out from this one Reddit post that really tells the story about how people's Galaxy Z Fold fives and fours and previous generations have gone thus far in terms of their reliability physically because obviously I've had my own issues with it. Z Fold 5 has been, from what I remember, perfectly great, but other people's hasn't. So I wanted to go through this list of people giving their feedback per this little post this guy did, and I think it's very telling and interesting a lot of the facts that came out of it. So here's his TLDR, which in these are the key findings from it. The first one is device distribution and condition. The most common models were the Z Fold 5 and 4. The most devices were purchased factory new. Screen protectors, many, use, many users opted for the default factory applied screen protectors, but usage of a third party protector was also significant. Now I wanna talk about that first, those first couple lines right there. Z Fold 5 and 4 being the most popular, makes sense. People got good trade-in values, they wanted to get those phones, so they did do that. And then also with the screen protectors, I actually take mine off. I know some of you do as well, but then the other rest of you just keep them on there. So not surprising, it's kind of a mixed bag of people keeping it on there, and then also people buying third-party ones as well. Screen issues, there is a significant percentage reported problems with the inner screen protector peeling or bubbling after 12 months. I heard a lot of that from people throughout the years with these phones where, hey, I have a, it looks like I have a scratch, looks like I have a nick, a dent on there, um, this, or the screen protector is peeling off at the edge. I heard a lot about that doesn't surprise me, you can go into a Samsung factory store and they'll replace it for free. Next would be the micro cracks were noted as an issue, particularly in older devices without a clear link to the type of screen protector used. Again, I've kind of heard that before. Device not fully opening was correlated with an increased likelihood of developing micro cracks. That's very common. I remember not so much with the Fold 5, but the Fold 4, 3, 2, I had that thing where it was like it, it became out. It came out like the the Pixel Fold, where it was like slightly open. It wasn't completely flat, and I've heard that before. And it's definitely gotten a lot better with the Z Fold Five. It's one of the reasons you might want to upgrade if it if it annoys you about the Z Fold Five. Durability over time. RMA rates, which are the you know when you get something fixed through Samsung, were highest for the Z Fold Four in the first year. The Z Fold Five showed fewer issues in comparison. That makes total sense to me because the Z Fold 5 has been pretty much rock solid for me and for my wife. So very, very uh, happy overall with the durability of this phone. Screen damage tended to occur most frequently between seven and 12 months. Kind of makes sense, you know? You think about you're using the phone in the beginning, it's, it's like a new born baby, it's great. But as this thing gets older, it's gonna potentially get more worn over time. Usage patterns, the study found no significant correlation between the frequency of folding the device and the incidence of screen issues or the likelihood of an RMA. Both inner and outer screens were used, but this did not significantly affect durability or the likelihood of screen failure. And I kind of agree with that. It's not, I wouldn't say one, just because you use one over the other, it's gonna cause more issues. Conclusions, devices with a higher rate of not fully opening did not necessarily lead to screen breakage, but were linked to higher rates of micro cracks, which let's be honest, that is still an issue and it would be need to get fixed or you'd want to get it fixed. The study, study suggests that how the screen is used or how often the device is folded does not significantly impact its durability. And that's kind of what I just mentioned a moment ago. And it just tells you that the data was created Clean with the data. The data was cleaned to exclude responses that might skew results, such as from users who didn't understand the questions or whose device conditions could be verified. So, I overall, I think it's very interesting, and it's stuff that you know I feel like I already knew because of my own usage with the phone. That the Fold Five, without a doubt, is the most durable, reliable of all the Galaxy Z Fold phones, and that. It's gotten better year over year over year. And, I, and I, even though Fold 4 had a lot of damage, you could also say that it's because it had one of the biggest populations of people actually buying the phone. So overall, Fold 5, I think, is the best one to get for sure for every reason. Let me know your thoughts on the durability 
of the fold line and how yours is holding up and if these things seem correct with what you say in sea and air. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.